Hey there YouTube, welcome to another Tech Me Out video, thank you so much for being here. In today's video we are going to do something that I have not seen yet anywhere on YouTube or online in general. We are going to do a complete rundown of everything you can back up with a Synology NAS. We are going to see in general briefly how to do it, how to best utilize it, and how it fits in to a backup strategy. How do you back up a computer? How do you back up, in general, your, uh, uh, your Synology NAS? How do you take care of uh, uh, several uh, uh, copies of your data that will be available in different places? It's, it's a puzzle that has many pieces and we are going to try to uh, uh, assemble them together into a complete picture. So, a complete rundown of everything you can back up with a Synology NAS. We are going to go over to the computer and start this journey. Join me. Alright guys, so we are at the computer and before jumping right in and starting the rundown I just want to make it uh, as clear as possible. We are going to talk about tools that some of them are classic backup tools, some of them are not. They are replication tools, they are sync tools, they are often uh, being referred to as backup tools. It's a mistake and this is in this video I'm going to and make sure you understand what is a backup and what is a replication. So, every tool we are going to talk about, I am not going to, to deep dive into every tool, but I am going to put on a card in the top right corner of the screen. Every time I'm talking about a, a, talking about a tool, I've already created an, a, a deep dive video on. So, Enough intro, let's ju jump right in. The first tool I want to talk about is Active Backup for Business. This is a classic backup tool, but it's very powerful. It backs up PCs, virtual servers, file servers, physical servers. And if we take a look at a PC, for example, when you download, uh, uh, by the way, you need to uh, click on add a PC, download the agent, install it, and connect it to the Active Backup for Business uh, application. But the most powerful thing about it, uh, after being configured correctly, this application is not really asking you what exact folders uh, you want to backup. It backs up your entire PC, not only the data, but the entire operating system. So when you, it comes time to restore, you can restore individual files and folders, but even if your hard drive has completely crashed and your computer not only boots up, when you fix it or replace the hard drive, you can restore your PC, not only the data, but the operating system and make your PC restored to the exact, uh, uh, the exact same state as it was when you last backed it up. That means going back from zero computer back to business in a very limited amount of in a very sorry short amount of time now this has its uh, pros and cons but considering that uh, it leaves almost no error for uh, no room for error you only uh, restore your pc in one action and you get the entire pc back online now the difference between a pc and a physical server a physical server has some more functionalities when it comes to uh, uh, backing up applications. It's more application aware. That means that if you have a, a SQL servers, a SQL database, it knows how to quiesce the database, uh, back it up, and then uh, the uh, database goes back to normal operation. File servers is uh, where you can back up for example, other SMB servers or rsync servers. So, so if you have, for example, a true NAS server that you want to back up, you can use this uh, functionality right here. And then what the, uh, the application will do is it will just pull the data from the, dest fr from the destination. The destination actually plays no role in this. It just, it, it's just a pull operation. Now, this is a true backup. The, the, the outcome of the backup is the data is compressed, deduplicated versions, uh, versioned, sorry, and the data itself is not browsable. So that's a true meaning of backup. Now, 
that's uh, that's the first uh, uh, tool that we are talking about the next backup tool is the hyper backup application now hyper backup is a, is a method of taking the data that's already on your NAS and backing it up to uh, 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 maybe a second Synology NAS you have, maybe a, a cloud provider like C2, maybe another rsync server. So again, if you have, for example, a true NAS uh, 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 machine, you can use rsync to back up your Synology NAS to that location. The whole idea behind hyper backup is in the strategy of 3, 2, 1, you will, you will use hyper backup to get a second copy of your data on a different location, pr preferably off-site. Now again, this is not replication. The data will be encapsulated, compressed, uh, uh, deduped, and not browsable at the destination. That's a true backup. You have a lot of options, and I do recommend that if you are using a NAS and you're backing up your data, your PCs, your whole life is on your NAS, it becomes a single point of failure. That means that if something happens to your NAS, your entire data is gone. So you should really think about backing up your NAS to some sort of a second location, second NAS, cloud provider, whatever. It's something that really should be on your, uh, on your task list. So that's a true backup, backing up the content of your NAS. The next tool I want to talk about, and I've seen a lot of videos online talking about this tool as a backup tool, when in fact it's not, it's snapshot replication. This tool does two functions. It can take snapshots of your, uh, uh, of your shared folders. The second thing it can do is replicate the content of your shared folders or folder to a, to a second uh, uh, Synology NAS, off-site or on-site, whatever. Now, one thing that I want to make uh, uh, as clear as possible, the replication doesn't replicate the snapshots, it replicates the actual data. And that means that on the destination NAS, the data is browsable completely unless you've uh, uh, dealt with uh, uh, on the permission level, the data is it's not compressed, it's live data, it's browsable. But I really do recommend using this tool because if you take a look at my computer right here on my documents folder, I'm using snapshots with a snapshot replication tool. And as a result, since it's completely Microsoft VSS compatible, I can browse the versions right here on the previous versions tab. So it's completely uh, uh, compatible and I can take a, 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 an earlier version, open it, restore from it. So it's something that can really save, uh, 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 save you when it comes to a maybe human error that you want maybe uh, uh, to restore an accidental deletion. But the main point here is that it's not a backup tool, it's a replication tool. That means that if you deleted something on your source NAS, this deletion action will also be replicated to the destination NAS. So this is something that you have to, uh, uh, to consider before using this uh, tool as a backup tool. It's not really a backup tool. One more tool that is often used or referred to as a backup tool, it's Cloud Sync. Now, what is Cloud Sync? Essentially, it's a way to take a shared folder on your NAS and sync it. The, the, the key point is sync. It's not backup, it's not even replication, it's syncing to a cloud provider. So let's, for example, take Box and log in to the Box account. In this case, my Box account. I'm going to give it a name. And then I need to choose a local path. That means what folder on my NAS is going to be synced. I'm going to select a folder I pre-created. And then the sync direction. This is where uh, uh, the default is bi-directional. That means every change on other, either side will be uh, synced 
to the other side. But if I change it to upload local changes only, then this tool might be a little closer to a backup tool because everything I put in the folder will be uploaded. But if I even delete something from the folder, this deletion is not synced to the cloud. Everything stays. Again, it's something that is not really a, 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 a classic backup tool. It's not designed to be a backup tool. Cloud Sync is designed as a sync tool. So I'm going to choose the default bidirectional and I'm going to click on done. At that point, a connection is made from the, uh, from the application to my sync account. And the main, let's say, advantage of this, uh, uh, of this tool is if you take again a look at my computer, I have a cloud sync folder and I have several cloud accounts uh, connected and configured. Let's say I want to copy some files to my Dropbox account. Let's say I'll take, I don't know, this file and this file. And let's say they're not a few kilobytes, they're a few terabytes. All right, I will copy them over. At this point, I can even shut down my computer completely and the Synology will take care of the syncing process to my cloud account, uh, as opposed to opening my web browser and logging in to my, box, uh, to my Dropbox account and then dragging and dropping the files to my web, web browser. I would have needed to wait until the upload is complete until I can uh, uh, go back to doing other stuff. And if it's a few terabytes uh, sizes of files, it can take a lot of time. So in this case, I'm going to delete it. And this is Cloud Sync. It really creates a, a, a local folder that, that's behind the scenes, is synced with my cloud providers. That's the whole idea behind, behind Cloud Sync. It's not designed to be used as backup. All right, moving on. The next tool I would like to talk about is really an all-arounder. It's Synology Drive. And the reason I'm referring to this tool as an all-arounder, because it's not, it's, it's on, the, on, the, on one side, it's a syncing tool. On the other side, it's a backup tool. Now, Synology Drive uh, uh, has a lot of uh, functionalities baked into one tool. But the most common use is if you remember uh, when, uh, uh, when installing the Dropbox client on your computer, you're asked which local folder you want to sync to Dropbox. And at that point, like in uh, Cloud Sync, this, this uh, local uh, folder is synced to Dropbox. This is exactly what Drive can do without the need of a cloud provider. You install the agent, on your computer, select a folder, and then sync it with Drive. And from Drive, you can sync it or uh, um, co-author it with other, maybe teammates, other users. You can even sync your, uh, uh, your entire Drive with another Synology with uh, its own data, but it doesn't end there. When you install the, the Synology Drive agent on your computer, you can create a sync task and you can also create a backup task. And in this backup task, you need to select exactly what folders you want to backup. Unlike the active backup for business application, where it doesn't even ask you, it just, it's, it's just backing up your entire uh, C drive or even other drives if you configure it. You don't pick and choose what you want to, uh, uh, to back up. It just backs up everything. You can, re uh, you can restore individual files and folders, but it backs up everything. That's the main difference between backing up with Drive or backing up with Active Backup for Business. But Drive, even though I don't use it, it's a really powerful tool, both for syncing, both for, for backing up. It, it's, it gained a lot of popularity among a Synology users, and rightfully so. And one last thing I want to talk about, it's a really, let's say, more hidden uh, uh, option to sync. And again, it's not backing up, it's not even replicating, it's syncing a shared folder or folders on your NAS 
to a different NES, a second NES, an off-site NES, which is also a Synology one. If you go into Control Panel and File Services and go to the Advanced tab, you have a Shared Folder Sync uh, uh, section right here, and you can create a task. Now, the difference between syncing uh, folders with this tool as opposed to using snapshot replication is that in snapshot replication you need to create a schedule once a day only on weekend only on tuesday the replication will happen if i create a task with a shared folder sync in fact i'm going to show you i'm going to select a folder i'm going to select a destination as And this is exactly the difference. The schedule is run sync on modification. So the minute, the second I put a file on my source directory, syncing will automatically take place and sync the changes to my destination folder. Now, this syncing it creates the, the destination folder as a read only. So on the other side, users cannot just drop files onto the onto the created folder only on the on, on the source side the, the folder is actually read and write and the changes are detected only on the source folder so keep that in mind the design or use case for this tool is to create a second copy live copy of a data in a folder that's replicated somewhere else for people on a, on a different site maybe have a, a local copy to use uh, or to read data but the sync only happens from the source to the destination all right guys so this was the complete rundown of everything you can back up with a Synology NAS and what's the best use case for it and if it's a backup tool a replication tool or a sync tool all right, guys, so this was the complete rundown of everything you can uh, back up with a Synology NES. I hope it was informative. I, I uh, um, deliberately try to keep it as short as possible. Join me in my on my next videos. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and hit the like button if you like this video. And I'll see you all, guys, on the next video. Bye-bye.